happen. And I, I probably thought of every possible scenario except this one, where we just made every we just made every shot in the second half. I mean, that was it was crazy. You know, two years ago here, it was the other way around. So it's just um, what can I say? I mean, we just we just made every shot. It was it was unbelievable. It just happens once in a while. You know, we haven't been shooting like that. You know, that was our. How do you go from the way you shot in the first half? Well, you, you know, you just bound. We have good shooters. You know, you're bound to have one of those nights. You don't know when it's going to happen, but that second half, I mean, you know, you, you just we just drilled every shot, and you know, and they got down a little bit, so they had to open the floor up. We missed those shots, and they're going back the other way. It's a different game, but you got to take them and. <laughs> you got to live with it, and, we, and it, it worked out great. Jamie, Kansas winning the Iowa win was, was special, but what does this win do for your team considering who it was against, where it was, and, and how well you played, especially in the second half? Well, th this is an important win uh, because, look, we all know you, this is one of the toughest environments in college basketball. You know, they, we have, I say this every year, but it's the truth. We just have great respect for St. Joe's passion. You know, we got great respect for their program, obviously. It's a very good program, but their fans are as loyal and passionate as anybody. So you know when you come in here, and again, I say this every year too, it prepares us for the Big East. You know, you, you come and play a game here, you're not going to go anywhere else that's going to be any crazier. So to be able to come into this environment and play like that it really tells us a lot about our team. And, and you know a lot of a lot of character, and mental toughness. How much does it help you play on these big five games? You got the sound coming. You know, again, <laughs> I've been around long enough, and so have you guys. I feel like I say the same thing every year, but it's just the truth that the great value of the Big Five for us is number one, you maintain the tradition in Philadelphia. Okay, but but th there's no quantitative value to that. But you, you play two games on the road that helps your RPI because they're always good teams and you go on the road, but you don't have to you don't have to travel. You know, most teams to play a game of this value of your RPI, you gotta go two hundred miles or stay overnight or home. And you know, we'll do the same thing, we'll go at Temple. So if you look at the end of the year, we always have a great RPI because of the big five. And then if you get these environments before you go to play in the big east. And, you know, wherever we play, if it, you know, wherever we play, it's sold out. It's a crazy game. So we get two of those every year before we go. You know, sometimes we lose them, but still you get the experience. Jay, could you talk at this about how, how hard it is to defend you guys when, when uh, Jay Bourne is working inside the way he is and the perimeter game is working? And teams have to almost pick their poison. And, Mark, just if I have to talk about Javon, I cannot pass up the fact that was his best defensive game of his life. I mean, he he did it in the first half he guarded Kansas Savage on the perimeter. In the second half he guarded Roberts inside. He knew the scouting report inside and out. I was so proud of him. He was really big defensively, really big. And then had an outstanding offensive game. But you're right, that's, you know, when – uh, you know, he, he takes enough threes and makes enough to keep you honest. And he's he's a, he's a good driver from the perimeter, and he's making really good decisions. Then inside, he's a beast, you know. So, you know, and Taj can do the same thing. You know, Taj's a little bit better on the perimeter. JP's a little bit better inside, but they can both give you both. It is. It's valuable to have. And they're they're old. <laughs> they're old guys. <laughs> and in college basketball, there aren't a lot of those, you know. Jay Phil's in here just now saying. Game plan was to shut DC down, and they obviously failed to pass. Did you see at all what they were trying to do to them, and, and how were they able to, I guess, not make it matter? You know, one of the things that um, Jay has, look, well, Phil's a very, very good coach. One thing Jay's has struggled with is getting double teamed. So, um, and it's not out of substance, it's just he, he's so aggressive, you know, and the first time he got the ball, he double teamed, and, and he, he gave it up for a dunk. Next time he got it, double teamed, he gave it up. <coughs> That was that was really smart, and it's not easy to make those passes he made. You know, sometimes he'll give it up, but he just doesn't make the right pass. He was really smart, um, and and then they did the same thing to to, to Taj. Um, you know, they just stayed with him and denied him. In the first half, he really didn't do anything. He got in foul trouble. But in the second half, 
they had the press, and then he got all his threes in the second half against the press, you know, in transition. It wasn't against their half-court defense. James, you're off to this 9-0 stuff, but what is the confidence level like right now with this team? Um, we believe we're playing good basketball, but we're playing good basketball because we're sticking to what we do. Um, we're defending, we're rebounding, and and we're getting what we want out of doing what we do. Uh, it's very enjoyable to do it the right way. James, you talked about the start of the second half. I think it's like you scored like eight or ten points in that opening press. <coughs> did you come out of the locker room feeling like you were going to score, or did it just kind of come to you that way? Um, it, we we all we all believe, and this is how we play. Like we believe it's going to come from defense. So um, we had to get stops. We had to rebound. We had to just stick, stick to our game plan to get to the other end. And when my when my teammates put me in good positions by making plays they did, I was able to make shots. Is it also, Jay, that you guys don't seem to dwell on a missed shot? It just you, you go with the next possession. Um, yeah. Uh, coach has been telling me this for four years: shoot them up and sleep in the streets. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> shooters are gonna make shots, but you got to take them to put yourself in that position. James uh, Hunter, James, can you guys talk about um, the environment, like being in this environment? I know in the thought for last tournament you had a similar environment against Kansas. They brought a lot of their fans out. But for this game, this is your first really big away environment. How did that factor into the game? And was that something you guys thought about a lot, or is that something that just kind of went away when you scored the nine points in the second half? <laughs> um, playing Kansas in the Battle of Atlanta it was big. It was like a home game to our younger, to our younger guys. Um, us being older, we've been in these environments before. Um, two years ago, we came in here, same environment, different result. But I mean, we're, we've we've been in a, a lot of big games together, and this is just another one. And it came out in our favor. Javon Jay mentioned you know, giving up the ball on the double team early. Was that a conscious decision? You just saw the open guy, or did you realize you needed to kind of shake that extra defender to do something? Uh, I saw the uh, double team come the first time. Uh, <laughs> I think it was Kenneth Savage that came, and I saw Dane rip, rip to the front of the rim, and then I told the coaches uh, that's what they was doing, and then I kept finding my uh, Dane you slip into the rim every time they came to double. Jay, the game turned in the first half for you guys when Kenneth Savage went to the bench. Can you just talk about the impact there, and I'm assuming you were trying to get him in foul trouble. Uh, yeah, I mean that, you're right. That was a big part of the game. You know, I thought. I thought when Candace Savage went out, he, he, as everyone knows, he's a very, very difficult guy to, to contain. And uh, when he went out, and our Taz was in foul trouble too, but then uh, Josh uh, Hart and Chris Jenkins came in, and those guys really did a good job. I thought that is what really turned it. Candace Savage was out. Those guys came in. Those guys stepped it up. We actually went to another level with those guys in. Um, that was big. Because it gave us some separation. And you come in, you know, in this environment, you're down at halftime. They're fired up. Fans are crazy. It's a little different coming out in the second half. Jay, jumpers weren't going in, in the first half, but you only had one turnover in the first yeah. half. You end up with five for the game. What do you, what do you attribute that to? Anything other than what you talked about? Well, we, we were really disappointed uh, in our turnovers in the Iowa game, all of us. You know, and that, you know, this kind of team, we don't, as coaches, we don't have to yell at them. They get it, you know, with these guys are older. And we really worked on that. Now, in the Penn game, it didn't have that much of a factor. We were a little bit better, but we we were really sloppy. It, actually, Kansas, too. Kansas and Iowa, we were really sloppy with the ball. So we have been working on that. We still have to get a lot better, but this was one of our best efforts in terms of just playing under control, making the right decisions. And a big part of it is Jay. Like, he gets double teams a lot. He gets triple teams sometimes. And, he made so many smart plays tonight. He doesn't get the assist all the time because he gets rid of it, and then that guy makes another pass, so the other guy gets the assist. But he, I thought a big part of it was Jay. Well, you guys are making really pretty. This is a pleasing team to watch compared to some of the teams you've had. Recently. But see, that, those other teams were pleasing to me because we played harder and we were better defensively. Offense, <laughs> but I understand from a yeah. fan's perspective. On, I understand. On offense, this is a fluid team. Yeah. And, James, you must appreciate you're getting the ball with a, a couple of seconds leeway and clearance to, to shoot it, which has got to be fun for you. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, but the passing is really good and the, the cohesiveness of this team on offense, a little more fluid than, than usual. Would you yeah, agree or definitely. Not?
definitely. This is, this is one of our best passing teams and, and basketball IQ teams. Yeah. We got to get better defensively, and we, we, we got pounded on the boards in the first half. And, um, you know, that was an issue at halftime. So when we have the propensity to do that, you know, just we get lineups in there, we get pounded on the glass. Our other teams didn't, but I know you're, you're right. This is really our best basketball IQ team we've had. Is it, is it better, more fluid offense just because of the IQ? Or you yeah. Something no, no, we're doing the same things. It just looks a lot better <laughs> because they, cause they make, you know, they make good decisions and, and we give them a lot more freedom because, you know, like Tony Chanel comes in the game for 12 minutes and gets three assists. You know, you saw Javon at the end of the game gets a rebound. He could go up and score. He kicks it out, extra pass. I mean, they just, they, you know, he's been around. He's been around. He's smart. You know, they're, they're, it's a, juniors and seniors are a big deal in college basketball, man. It's a big deal. Was there an unselfishness factor in that too? Because it's an unselfish group. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, and when you get to be a junior, you figure it out. You know, like, you know, like, like they, they, they both give the ball up to everybody, and they both are the leading scorers. You know, it just takes time to figure that out as a player. Jay, but is this optimally how this offense works at its, at its highest level this tonight? Yeah. So did it Yeah, I think so. I mean, we, made, we made every shot. I mean, we, we actually prepare to, to live with not making this many shots. That, was, that second half was crazy. Best, best best basketball IQ team you, you had, we, We've had since we've been here. Yeah. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you, guys.